Hi, I'm Joe, Product Manager at Smart Technologies working on the IQ system. I have some exciting beta features that are coming to our beta channel soon that I'd like to show you. The first is our new home screen experience. We've replaced the launcher that used to appear at the bottom of the screen with a full screen experience that users will be able to customize in future betas. Right now, as you enter applications like the whiteboard and you work with them, when you return back to the home screen, you can see the activity that you've been working on shown on the screen in the recent section. The same holds true for activity that happens inside the web browser. As I move around in tabs in the web browser, that activity will be shown on the home screen in the recent section as well. With Notebook Player, files that I open to present to my students will also show up in recent so that I can jump back to them quickly at any time. For those of you that have been using the student panel in SLS Online to share lessons with your students, we've brought that functionality into Notebook Player in IQ. Just tap the student button and you will see who's connected and you can start sharing the lesson with your class. The next new feature that we've added is initial support for streaming inside the screen share application. So if I go to screen share, from my connect screen or if I'm already mirroring from an iOS device, I can connect with AirPlay to start streaming video. Once the video started, if you touch the screen, you'll get play controls that let you control the flow of the video from the board. You can also disconnect from the board when you're done. For more information on the beta, visit smarttech.uservoice.com.